Hello and welcome. Today's tutorial is about creating the Hello World C program using the Visual Studio code that we previously installed. So let's go ahead, go to activities, click on Visual Studio code. Some more stuff will pop up. Just gonna close this quickly to this close workspace and now we need to create a new folder somewhere so let's do that let's create a new folder and go to file open a folder right now I'm on root what I need to do is to create a folder called work spaces so now I'm in work space and here I will create a folder called C CPP there are a lot of P's so C projects and here I'm gonna just create a new folder called hello world project or just hello world hello world is fine so yeah trust this now the hello world project is here now before we move ahead we need to check that if we have gcc installed yes gcc is installed also we need to check if gdb is installed that's a debugger and the final thing we need to see if g plus plus which is used for c plus plus so g plus plus is installed no. It says G++ is not installed but is provided by G++ C++. Do you want to install? I will say yes and okay it will ask me that the following package will be also installed. Yes. Uh, hopefully it will install because I didn't run the command with sudo okay it's failed so we're gonna do go to our terminal here i mean we can use that terminal as well but this is more big font so we can change the font on that terminal as well but i will do that later so sudo yeah, install gcc-cp++ install that and if you do g++ okay so g++ oh it's installed <laughs> you don't need to elevate your don't need sudo for that so yeah let's g++ is installed but one thing once you install the g++ you need to restart your so visual studio code uh, actually no first uh, let's create let's create a hello world cpp it's hello world cpp as soon as you create this one it will ask you that do you want to install recommended extension say so, yeah show the recommendation and this this is cc plus plus extension act from microsoft so let's install this so once you install it you have to restart the visual studio code
okay looks like it's installed yes now um, let's close this and then install uh, open code or you can just uh, go to activities and click here code So now all you need to do is to write a very simple hello world application. To do that we will start with include directory. As soon as you type you will see there is an IntelliSense. Yes. And we just need IO stream. Then we do using namespace actually control z doing name i went so fast i'm not gonna use this one we use this one namespace using namespace std and now int name just to see, see out Hello world ndl semicolon and then you return return zero save it now First, let me show you how do you compile this code on this terminal here. Or then I will show you how do you do it through here. Probably you can do it through here somehow. Build and debug active file. Yeah. So let's do it from terminal first. We say G plus plus. Hello world out hello world boom there is a file here now if you do ls there is a hello world if you run it hello world it will tell you hello world so there is your hello world program and now if you run it from here build active file so you have this option use the g plus plus and here you go okay it's kind of like a debugging here so we don't need to debug that's another session so yeah let's run and debug if you have like a say you have uh, breakpoints just do run and debug and gdb you can use gdb and do this and now that's how you debug so i will i will tell you all these options later but here is how you debug and create C++ application. So let's continue here and then there's your hello world in the terminal. So see that's C++ debug terminal here. This is another C++ ter terminal that we run previously. Securing, define, finish, Okay. and you are good go back to pause and yeah eventually I will teach you how to do it but that's how from terminal you can run your C++ application enjoy coding bye